then, it was over. With the Archdemon dead, the Darkspawn Horde quickly crumbled. Most fled back into the deep roads. They would remain a threat in the years to come. But the Blight had been ended before it had truly begun. Ferelden had been saved, and the entire kingdom rose up to joyously greet its new king. Three wardens stood redeemed, and a new age had begun. But at what cost? My friends, we are gathered here to pay our respects to the Grey Warden that saved us all. She gave her life to destroy the Blight, a sacrifice we must never forget. It was no accident that she was there either. She was special, and each of us had our life touched by her in some way. She even put me on this throne, despite my protests. But there was no telling her no, right? The Grey Wardens couldn't have asked for anyone finer. How do you properly honor someone like that? The Grey Wardens are building a magnificent tomb at Weishaupt, right next to Gada Hells. But I'd like to do something as well. Syrian, please step forward. You are the Grey Warden's father, are you not? We had some difficulty finding you. Things in the alienage are chaotic. Help has been slow to arrive. I'd like to change that. The alienage will have its own ruler, who speaks in the land's meat as an equal. I'd like that to be you. The first ban of the alienage, if you're willing. My lord, I... I don't know what to say. I wish your daughter were still here to fill the role herself. As it is, it's just a start. I promise you that. Let all know that the Arling of Amaranthine, once the land of Arl Hau, is now granted to the Grey Wardens. There, they can rebuild and hopefully live up to this example. Friends, let us hope that she has gone on to a better place and that she knows just how thankful we are for what she has done here. You will be missed. Fare you well.